Okay, a number of years ago when um, we wanted to go to the pub and you'd say I'm just going to see a man about a dog uh, now it's I'm just going to the pub so I can charge my car uh, it's a crazy world eh But well, reading about these, I was uh, saw something online the other day that was actually saying that um, fees were stripping these these cables for the copper um, and getting sixty, seventy pound at a time for them. I even read that they were stripping the copper out of them while the cars were being charged overnight. <laughs> Uh, it's the clown world we live in. Anyway, onwards and upwards. Have a look. Looks like somebody's spontaneously combusted, and all that's left is their underpants. <laughs> Uh, let's get out of here why well, I still can okay folks so nothing really planned on this video just going with the flow but um, bit of road rage going on there um, again for those of you who uh, don't know the area this is a Glassford roundabout and it's probably safe to say that just over that roundabout is the unofficial boundary for Newcastle, Newcastle under Lyme Stokes, uh, Stokes poshish neighbour or should I say it used to be because um, it's certainly in decline like lots of other places now then that side of the roundabout don't like being classed as anything Stoke on Trent oh no 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 don't you dare call them Stokies by mistake <sighs> And over the years, I've known lots of people move from this side of the roundabout to the other side, to Newcastle. But I don't know so many who've moved from Newcastle to uh, Stoke. And who can blame them? But yep. Many years ago, Newcastle always felt special, uh, nightlife wise. It was always good on a Wednesday, Wednesday night, then Castle again on a Friday night, and then you'd probably go up to town, Hanley, on a Saturday. But, uh, them days are long gone as you can see there's a sign for Newcastle so we're now heading over to the posh end <laughs> oh I'm gonna get some stick off this I know I am But the, the reason for the visit here is um, in this last week alone Newcastle's been hit with some closures the Wilco's is gone as are all of them 
Clarks have announced that they uh, are pulling out of the town centre. A cafe has announced that it's closing called Bailey's. I think it's called Bailey's, I might be wrong. I definitely know it's closing though. So, we're going to take a look again. See what's changed since I've uh, last did a video on Newcastle about six months ago. We're now starting to get lots of homeless coming over to Newcastle and begging. Been a big increase in that. And like most other places, there's a big influx of uh, asylum seekers arrived. Now, depending on what time of day you go through Newcastle, the atmosphere certainly changes. Um, I go through most evenings anywhere between four and six o'clock through the town centre and um, I will admit there is large groups of migrant men young men sitting all on the empty market stalls um, most of them look Probably in the age range of, I don't know, 20 to mid 20s. Um, vast majority of them seem to be African. Now I do know where they are stopping in the town centre, a lot of people don't. And a lot of people would be amazed at the right in the middle of the town centre because you just wouldn't know this place existed and that they were all in there so we'll take a look at that as well now it's uh, I think it's fair to say that Coming into Newcastle, certain parts, not this part by the way, <laughs> uh, still does have a different feel to it compared to Stoke. There is still, I can't really explain, like a different vibe to it, but it's slowly, it's slowly going the way Stoke is. And lots of other places. Lots of takeaways springing off. Lots, lots of uh, Asian food places. Lots of Eastern Europe supermarkets. Turkish barbers, vape shops, all the kind of shops that you're never going to spend Saturday afternoon browsing around, are you? Um, the old Zanzibar here that used to be, or Ritzy's or whatever. Built in those sort of takeaways. That's for sure. No matter where you are in the country. Right. Let's get into town and see what we can uh, see what we can see, see what we can find. 
see what awaits us. Golden Cup Marbles, Indian restaurants. Takeaway, Thai, what was it? Oh, Thai massage, restaurant. Shop there full of vapes. Never a shortage of them, is there? The building here that I've uh, covered before in other videos. Apparently, I don't know, has now been brought out. I don't know how true that is, I don't know. It's only what I've seen online. Oh, Jesus. And small weed. Oof. Right. Down we go. Still smell it. Example of the old is here. I think he's fast asleep. Yeah, he's asleep. You see, one time that was on the head of in Newcastle. The homeless and the beggars were uh, mostly based in Anley or well, Longton or even Stoke Town, but now they seem to be coming into Newcastle more and more. I think it's uh, Queen's Gardens here is about the Only decent place in the town centre. That looks loved. Well, I've covered this area before, this Ashley Walk. I need to cover it again. And again, you see more homeless. You alright, mate? All over Newcastle now. Never used to be like that. Oh. I better pause this because uh, YouTube won't like it, copyrights and all that. So I'll just pause the video for you guys. Okay, music's on in the background now, so uh, I know YouTube doesn't like it when you have music playing, so I had to cut there. But yeah, this is the, the cafe that I was on about that is shot in Bailey's tea room. It's uh, well, I think it's now closed. But look. No shortage of vape shops. Cobra vape shop. Jesus. I mean, come on. There's nobody in the right places asking the right questions anymore. Why all these places are springing up. Right. That's 
go uh, let's go turn it around more bait shops hey. I think you can still get your cigarettes for three pound a pack in some of these places. Hmm. It all looks very depressing, doesn't it? Clay comes yours. Bailey's vintage tea room. Yeah, that's that's the place. That's the one that's uh, closing, closed even. in your future yeah right ah. back this way because we've got the girl singing there I think it just means me pausing my video again for a few years old balls head pub more homeless across here You really can't believe it, can you? To what it used to be. Morning. So yeah, if you come through here between four and six o'clock at night, this place will have a totally different uh, atmosphere you'll see lots of um, migrant men sitting on these benches here we are another vape shop how many is that we've seen now I've lost count but yeah don't take my word for it if you think I'm lying Come down yourselves, see for yourselves. And you'll see what I'm on about. I don't make these things up. Another Eastern European supermarket.
Bombers, Kababas. Close down bars. Cash converters. really is a sad place to be in the town centre here now isn't it a sparkle certainly uh, gone I mean we're not as bad as Hanley yet but uh, it's getting slowly putting a fag paper between the two. The decline has been quite rapid. Just going back into the town centre. Just have a little tit all around the outskirts of it. And uh, once again, another vape shop. Uh, if anybody can tell me how many we're seeing guys in the video, because I've just, uh, I've just completely lost count. Yeah, cheers mate, thank you. Sorry though, cheers folks, thank you. <sighs> well then the new police bikes he says. <laughs> oh, how many times do I get asked that? Hey, dee, dee, dee. I'm gonna have to be careful when I'm going out at night drinking. <sighs> Oh, that's made me smile. Oh, these are new police bikes. <laughs> mm. Right, I'm going back on myself here, so uh, let's get back further into the town. Well, last time I did a video on Newcastle, six or seven months ago, I got accused of uh, filming it the wrong time of the year in winter. <laughs> It's not much better in June, July and August, let me tell you.
Right. About that migrant building I was telling you about, where nobody knows it is. That building up there. Above the Turkish barbers. That's where they all come out at night. This is the place. You walk past there. Certain times of the day you'll see them all. All coming out from up there. So many people oblivious that there. Very intimidating for uh, females coming through here at night. Because like I say, they like to sit on these benches and stare. And stare, they do, trust me. So we're... Uh, if you don't believe me, like I said earlier, come down, take a look for yourself. Don't take my word for it. And it's another Eastern European shop. supply of vapes once again uh, all these uh, ordinary cafes and shops are all closing but vape shops are booming and I'm cycling around here and I don't see many carrying vapes Oh, very odd. But what do I know? They don't all scam me now. <laughs> all thinking I'm old Bill. <laughs> oh dear. Old Bill on the new, new police bike. least said about this thing the better right guys that's the end of the video um, didn't really have nothing planned just thought I'd come over to to Newcastle to see what it was like at this time of day 
it's 11 a.m. in the morning. Like I say, I go for here most nights in the evening, so I know what it's like then. Um, I just thought I'd share it with you. Let's go. So. For those of you who are in, uh, and I've got a few of you, a few, few of the viewers over in Australia, Thailand, uh, I've got, I've got, yeah, I think I've got two, I don't know what, one in Canada, <laughs> all ex Stokies, um, who've not been back to Stoke or Newcastle for years. I hope that hasn't uh, upset you too much. Seeing Stokes, uh, old posh neighbour, suffering the way it is. Now inundated with Eastern Euro Super Meat, Super Meat, well, wow. Eastern European supermarkets and vape shops. So. If you like this video give us a thumbs up and i'll see you guys next time <laughs>